All right, man, how the hell are you getting truck it, Cameron? So, my old man has, like I said earlier, been trucking since I can remember. Um, he started off with a, my my addiction started off with his 94 Peterbilt flat top. That's great, man. Shout out to anyone that helped you get to uh, get you to where you are. Uh, yeah, both my parents. My mom, she's actually, she's been a huge, she's been a huge part of it as well. Uh, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend Allison, which she's over here somewhere. But she's, we just, we got together about two years ago and she had no idea I mean, really what her semi-truck entailed, you know? Yeah. She just see these, these big ugly things going down the road. Now she just took off a week's paid vacation to come down to this truck trail with me, so. She really likes it too and just, my, I mean my whole family knows that this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I do, so. All my friends, all my family, my parents especially, so. That's good stuff, bro. What's going on with the Truckers One Today Asian by Show? I'm chilling here with my guy Karen. How you doing, sir? Doing good, buddy. How are you doing? Dude, you know, everyone's been telling me the other day off camera, I was doing a little interview with my guy Zach. I was like, can I turn off the music? He's taller than me, so if he was gonna say no, I was just, <laughs> just gonna be okay with it. But then I said, you know what, let's let's talk. And then what Fonz came out and go, I need to introduce you to yeah, my boy. Yep. Same guy. So in life it is very important to be good to people. Just in general. Absolutely. You never I, know I who you that. know, right? Bonds is good people too, for sure. Hey, so <laughs> what we got going on here, brother? So this is a 2379 Peterbilt. Um, it's gold in color, white, looks like a white gold metallic in color. This paint's crazy to me, bro. Like, how did you think of this? Because like, I, so I see a lot of trucks, but I'll see this. It already had a similar paint job before I bought it. Yeah. And I had it repainted back in May. It just, I don't know, you don't see it very often. Check yeah. this. Let's walk around. Wanna pull the hood? Yeah, why not? I'm already seeing that 007. Uh, I wish I would <laughs> try to clean it up now. Oh, uh, no, it's good, man. It's good. Talk about the specs a little bit. So it's a 2WS cap, 3406E model, uh, 6 and a quarter tune in it. Um, it's an 18 speed transmission. It's got 12 gauge air ride, single oh, yeah. spring. Uh, Let's walk back. 325 area. It's it's a working truck. I go. I mean, I, I do anywhere from 2,000 2, miles to 4,000 miles a week. So you ain't playing around. It's got its you know, it's got its things and things. It ain't perfect, but I think it's good enough to bring to a show. So. Hey man, I, I tell you what man, as long as you have pride in it, no, oh, absolutely. You know, oh, yeah. who else cares man? That's what it's about man, yeah, you know? I, I try to keep it as clean as possible about 90% of the time. I mean, if you see it dirty, I'm in a bad mood or something. So. You know, talk about that real quick, because you know, the, a lot of people at home, you know, that they'll say, oh, Chrome don't get you home. Why do these guys out here care about their truck so much? And what, what's the real reason why you care so much? See, that's, that's most of the fun for me in trucking is having a nice ride. Yeah. You know, people, when you see people go by you taking videos and taking pictures, it's, it's kind of makes your head swell up a little bit and it just, it's fun for me. And people say Chrome don't get you home, I mean, there's something to be said there, but when you go into a shipping office and they look outside and they see your, you take pride in your equipment, and it's gotten me business actually in the past. So. Oh really? So well, you're making money? Not not gotten me business, but it's it's brought up conversation which will, which will lead up to it's more. It's all networking, it's baby. It's networking, exactly. Yeah. That's it, man. That's cool, that's cool. And, and I, my old man and I, we've He's always had a truck. I, I mean, we farmed and we trucked. I always yeah. took towards trucking. I mean, my first toy when I was little was a little baby truck. So, so you had no chance, man. I, he, I was doomed from get go, <laughs> for sure. The inside is a it's a classic 379 dash. Uh, the radio has been moved. It was up there. That's all 389 stuff. Um, the headliner, the panels, the doors are from 389. Uh, mirrors are 389. But the floor is a 12 gate or a badass customs floor. Um, the shifting, or the shifters all been combed, and it's got a decent, decent sound system in it. Um, other than that, yeah, it's just been painted and 
I like I said, I try to keep try to keep it really clean at all times. Heck yeah, you mind if I take a step? Yeah, there's some there's some luggage in there, but Come on man, work truck! <laughs> Don't mind all that. We're hanging out, brother. No, that's beautiful, man. That's good. Yeah, beautiful truck, you know. You know, I'm not one to try to mess up your stuff, baby. All right, man, how the hell you getting trucking, Cameron? So, my old man has, like I said earlier, been trucking since I can remember. Um, he started off with a, my my addiction started off with his 94 Peterbilt flat top. Um, I just took to it ever since. I mean, helped work on trucks in the shop when I was too young to drive. Cleaning, washing, helping rebuilds, and you know, just little stuff like that, just to get me through high school and gas money, beer money, stuff like that. And then turned 18, and then as soon as I turned 18, got my CDL. That Friday, I got my CDL. Monday morning, I was downtown Chicago with a reefer trailer and a. Are you serious? 275 inch wheelbase Peterbilt. Yep. Man, so he, it's he, for the get go. He threw me to the wolves. Yep. That's crazy, man. So, uh, how many years you been driving now? So I've been driving. My own truck. I've been driving in all, uh, let's see, five, a little over five years on my own for three, three and a half. So, how old are you right now? I'm 23. 23 years old? 23 years old. Shit, bro. <laughs> are you serious right now, I'm dead man? I'm serious, yes, sir. Man, you know, talk about, like, you know, when people say the young guns, the kids, you know, oh, he's young, he don't know nothing, he can't make it. At 23 years old, when everyone else is playing video games and trying to become a YouTuber. You know, oh. there's I, I take a lot of pride in that as well. I really do. It's it's really awesome when you get a, a guy that's been trucking for well over 30 years come up to you and tell you he admires what you're doing and respects you. That's I, there's a lot to be said about that for sure. Um, you know, any advice for the, the the young ones that feel like everyone tells them they can't make it? Stay motivated, I guess. I mean, you know, you have your up you have, you have your ups and you have your downs for sure. I mean you. You got on the road, you break down, you get you get down and you get low, but the next week you can have your best best grossing week or net paying week and it's just if you put your mind to it you can you can really you can really be successful with it. So my 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 old man definitely helped me out. We got a shop at the house, so if something breaks, I don't have to pay shop rates. Right. I don't have to pay outrageous shop rates, you know, he yeah. charged me fifty percent like you know, half of what he would charge somebody Family else. Family price? Yeah, yeah. So you got some help man, but you know, I feel like you're still a humble dude, bro. Uh, I appreciate that as well. Um, you know, he he makes he keeps me honest for sure. He doesn't. He helps me out. I bought. I, I wrote him a check for the first truck I ever bought. So it's not like he you know he handed it to me. How much was that truck? So I paid sixty five thousand for it. Uh, I had to beg and pride my bank to give me the money for it, but. We, oh, so he didn't even give you a loan? No, you... no. I went to the bank to buy it. I mean, he like I said, he never gave me money, and I. I give him eight percent of my gross check every week for running his numbers on the side, and it's it keeps it, like I said, it keeps me honest, it keeps me loyal. So it's cool, man. I appreciate that. No, that's great, man. You know, uh, and yeah, he he's actually still out on the road too. He he does LTL just like I do. He goes Memphis, Jackson, Ten or Jackson, Mississippi, and I do Tennessee. So. I'm proud of you, brother. You know, I I think about the future. You know, I've been uh, in trucking my whole life. You know. Myself, not that long, you know, 10 years owner op doing North American van lines. Okay, you're an owner operator too. You know, nice. moving furniture, you know, and, Sweet. you know, the YouTube thing kind of just did what it did. But really, it's like I think about the next generation, and sometimes it makes me sad because I think that there's not enough people that want to get into it and have pride in it. And I, I talk to a guy like you, and it's, you're ready, bro. It's a dying breed, absolutely. It's that's why a lot of mo most of my trucking friends are over 40 years old. I mean, I have a lot of young friends too. Don't get me wrong, but the ones that have been in it for a long time, they're the most knowledgeable, and they've they've given me the most the best advice. Yeah. What you is know? the best advice you, uh, you heard from either dad or your you know your your friends in trucking? Uh, I mean, kind of just what I had mentioned earlier: just keep your head in it and stay motivated. I mean, it's something that I've always wanted to do, so. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, some days it's harder than others. I want to, one day I want to sell the whole damn truck and get rid of it and go get a desk job. And then the next day it's, you know, when it's sunny out and your truck's clean and it's nice outside, just makes, makes everything so much better. That's good, man. I love it, man. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess advice would be just 
stay in it. You know, it's home. You miss out on a lot of home time and you miss family events and such. But I guess I signed up for that. So that's great, man. Shout out to anyone that helped you get to uh, get you to where you are. Uh, yeah, both my parents. My mom, she's actually she's been a huge she's been a huge part of it as well. Uh, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend Allison, which she's over here somewhere. But she's we just we got together about two years ago, and she had no idea I mean, really what a semi truck entailed, you know. Yeah. She just see these these big ugly things going down the road. And now she just took off a week's paid vacation to come down to this truck show with me. So she really likes it too, and just my, I mean my whole family knows that this is what I'm going to do. This is what I do. So all my friends, all my family, my parents especially. So that's good stuff, bro. Appreciate that. Hey, at the end of this, man, you know. I wish you the best, bro. Thank That's you. That's it, man. Absolutely. See? Easy, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad.